First at five new video showing the moment a Worth County school bus full of about 20 students flipped over on its side and new information about the citation given to the driver. Now that incident happened two weeks ago and fortunately no students were seriously injured in the crash. But as WALB News 10's Lena Allen reports, Worth County parents are still calling for answers from the school system about what some describe as a lack of communication. This video shows the moments a Worth County school bus full of students veered off the road and toppled over on its side. Georgia State Patrol confirmed the bus was carrying 26 students ranging from ages 5 to 18 years old. The school bus driver is being cited for failure to maintain lane. But some of the students' parents tell me they haven't received any of these updates from the school district, leaving them with a lot of unanswered questions like how this accident happened to begin with. That's caused them to turn to lawyers to find those answers for them and also find out what the school system's safety protocols are in situations like this. But obviously, somebody wasn't paying attention or there was something that happened that probably shouldn't happen. Buses just don't turn over. Paisley tells me one student had to get staples from an open cut, while another was left with a fractured shoulder. He says other injuries are also a concern. I reached out to the Worth County superintendent about safety protocols and received this statement, which reads in part, once student safety has been secured, our next immediate focus is on parent notification. We are examining systems to put in place in order to most effectively notify parents as soon as absolutely possible, end quote. And when accidents happen like this, we want transparency. It's certainly out, out of the ordinary. And we just want to make sure safety protocols were followed and, and we want to know what went wrong and, and why that happened. And of course, there's big interest in making sure this, this never happens again. I asked the school district if the school bus driver was suspended. I was told they can't comment on the driver's employment. Lena Allen, WALB, your hometown news source.